This clip is brought to you by SaveWithConrad.com. Robert Smith wants to know, can you tell a good Larry Zabisco story? Mostly just so we can hear your impersonation of him again. I think that's become like everybody's favorite. You talking as Larry. Uh, do, do you have any more fun Larry stories you can bless us with today? Let's see. Uh, maybe he's traveling together, maybe going to dinner together on a plane in a hotel bar, anything like that. Well, there was one time and uh, this would probably just be a two part story, but it was one time we got into the town, Larry and I were riding together. Okay, Larry, you want to go to the gym tomorrow morning? Oh yes, cars are got to go to the gym. Got to, got to train the tits. He called chess day training the tits. <laughs> yes. Got to train the tits. Maybe, maybe three sixty five tomorrow. I don't know. We'll see. So what time you want to meet Larry? Okay. Nine o'clock. All right. Fine. Nine thirty. whatever it is. Nine o'clock. So we get in the car, we go, go to the gym. We walk in. Guy knows who we are, but there's $10 workout fee. Oh, are come on. You're not going to pay that. Are you looks at the guys? Hey, we don't, we just want to work out. We don't want to rent the place for a month. The guy's looking at Larry. He's looking at me. I went, Larry, don't, don't sweat it. You know, just pay the 10 bucks. Oh, I'll be in the car. Larry went and sat in the car for an hour and a half while I worked out because he was too tight to spend the 10 bucks. Now it brings us to match time. We're on the, we're working the match. I'm in the ring, uh, bouncing around for whoever it would have been. All of a sudden they're chanting, Larry sucks. Larry sucks. So I'm looking over him, looking over at him. <laughs> I'm going, are you going to get in here and do anything? Oh, Arn, listen, they're chanting, Larry sucks. Larry, I said, Larry, they mean it. <laughs> he says, oh, Arn, I'm getting heat. I said, yeah, it's with me and the baby faces. My goodness. A question from uh, CJ Smith. He says, when mentioning the greatest wrestlers to never win the big one in WWE, WCW, or NWA, people always mention Piper, yourself, and others. Mine would be the great Muda. Seems like they blew a major chance with him. What are your thoughts on him being one of the best to never hold the big belt? Yeah, Muda was excellent. He was smooth. It was, I used to say it was like working with uh, Japanese Ricky Steamboat. He was, he was, he was excellent. And, uh, you know, there was communication issues, you know, you didn't, you just didn't say anything. You just, that's what made him so good. You would just attack something and he would counter it or try to, or sell it for you or, or whatever you, whatever needed to be done because you couldn't, you know, there was no talking beforehand, during or after he just, uh, you know, and the guy was very, very talented. He had a lot of skills and he had a good look, you know, what a handsome guy he was when he was young, you know, on the paint and the whole deal. And, uh, of course the mist was always a nice attraction. You know, he, he was pretty much the whole package. Hey, Hey, it's Conrad Thompson. Thanks for checking out the podcast here on YouTube. Be sure to hit the subscribe button and the notifications bell. So you get a notice anytime we upload some new content and go save yourself some money right now. If you're in a 30 year loan or you have credit card debt, it's not a matter of if I can save you money. It's a matter of how much find out right now for free at SaveWithConrad.com.